We have six bricks of uncooked ramen and we're putting them into our grease nine by 13 casserole dish. We're not gonna need any of the seasonings, so we're just gonna throw those away. We have one can of this nacho cheddar cheese. We are just gonna pour it over the top. This is gonna be a delicious base for our dish. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. We're just gonna spread this cheese out and make sure every nook and cranny is coated. Now we're gonna use chicken broth, but you can use beef broth or milk if you prefer. We're just gonna fill up that nacho cheese can. We're gonna fill up one and a half of these containers and just pour it on top of the cheese. We're gonna total about three cups of chicken broth here. And once again, we're just gonna smooth that out, create a nice layer on top of our ramen here. Now we're gonna use some mixed cheese and we're just gonna put it over the top. I'm not gonna put too much cheese because we are gonna add a little bit in a later step. We just wanna put a nice layer here that's gonna kind of bind everything together. We have some cooked ground beef here, AKA burger meat. We're just gonna pour it on the top. I've seasoned this lightly with salt and pepper and we're just gonna spread that out. If you haven't figured it out yet, we are making cheeseburger ramen. This is a delicious dish. I've only made a couple times, but it was completely wonderful. We're gonna top this with some minced onions. These are really good. You don't need a ton because they are pretty potent. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that gourmet burger seasoning. We just wanna make sure this is extra flavorful. Now we're gonna cover this with foil. Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for about 50 minutes. Come back and add some more delicious toppings. All right, and we let ours cook for about 55 minutes to give the noodles a little extra time to cook. Let's go ahead and take this foil off. And that looks beautiful. Now this wouldn't be a cheeseburger without these Kraft American singles. We're gonna place one on each brick of ramen and these are gonna melt up nicely. You can dress your burgers however you want. I'm gonna hit it with a little ketchup. I'm gonna add some yellow mustard and this is gonna be so good. It's gonna taste just like a cheeseburger. I like pickles on my burger, so I'm gonna put a few pickles on here. I'm gonna put one on top of each piece of cheese. We're gonna have a little bit of pickle, a little bit of burger with every bite. There we go, and I love pickles. I love the pickle juice. Honestly, I could drink this right now. And the crown jewel is crispy bacon. I know I talk about bacon all the time. I love crispy bacon. We're just gonna crush this up in our hands and just drizzle it on top. This is gonna be the finishing touch to our burgers, just like that. We're gonna throw this back in the oven for about five minutes to melt that cheese, and we'll come back and try it out. And our cheeseburger ramen casserole is done. Our cheese is fully melted. We are going to scoop out a portion here and try this thing out. Just gonna scoop it out and look at that. Comes out in one beautiful piece. Let's try this out. We're just gonna scoop up a nice bite with our ramen, our burger, and our bacon. That is really good. It tastes just like a burger. The perfect substitute for when you're out of burger buns or you just wanna try something different. You've gotta try this.